Lawrence, welcome to the program. Thanks for taking a couple minutes out on what's got to be a bit of a difficult Monday for you. Oh, thanks for having me. But you, you know, it's a, it's a part of the business. We, we understand we can't win them all. We just got to make the adjustments and go for the next one. As a leader on this football team, how do you go and move on and turn the page to the next one when there is just such a gut wrenching, unexpected loss like you suffered in Las Vegas? Well, we had a time machine and we was able to turn back the, the time, you know, then, <laughs> then we could draw on that and be like, oh, yeah, we, we could do that, but we can't. Um, and, and we have to understand that. So we have to put that in the past. We, we have to take that adjustment. Like, okay, this is what we did good. This is what we did bad. Let's keep on going because at the end of the day, we got three games left, and every game's a big game. And we understand they're going to come down and play like that. Like that was a big game for us. It came down to to these last plays. Like things happen, things are unpredictable. But you have to keep on pushing because this is why we play this game. We play this game because we play for the person next to us. We play for our family. We play for our last names. We got to keep on going. You can't just throw in the towel. No, you can't just throw in the towel, and it is difficult when something ends in such a drastic and shocking fashion like that, and obviously some of your teammates, most of your teammates would be hurting on a day like this, but one in particular would be Jacoby Myers. Uh, he stood up, you know, stand-up guy, and said he took the blame uh, for trying to do too much afterward. Did you get a chance to talk to Jacoby, and did you offer any words as one of the team leaders, Lawrence? Um, I didn't get the t- chance to talk to him. Um, I, I think a lot of people have to do it, but you can see that leadership in him right there. Um, that's one of those things that he didn't look around and say, well, we did this. We were put-. No, he looked around and said, you can put that on my shoulders. I have broad shoulders to carry that. Um, now let, let's understand if you guys were looking for somebody, he gave you that person. And he's like, now we're moving on. And I think that's where he's at. It's just moving on. Um, and going for the next week. Cause let's be honest, it's a short week, and we, we can't be all in our feelings about what happened on, on Sunday. we got to be like, okay, we got a game on Saturday. Let's get prepared. Let's, let's go out there and beat them. Do you have confidence that that will happen, that the team will be able to move on? Because I think outsiders look at this game and say this was a must-win situation. Their playoff chances are now long shot. They have really three tough games. I think some people are expecting that this team could fold. Do you have confidence this team will not fold? I have a 100% confidence this team won't fold because look at the men in the locker room. And the men in the locker room, the character speaks for itself um, on the field and off the field. Um, and I feel like we're going to come out there and do what we have to do. Um, and, and as the old saying say is, you got to ignore the noise outside because we had a crystal ball. There'd be a lot of rich people out there because people would be like, oh, I knew I knew this was going to happen. Um, we just don't know what, what's going on. So um, you just have to take it day by day, get the best recovery that you can and go on the field and, and play with that passion because we have to understand we, we get to play this, this game as as a profession and it's a, it's a blessing to do. And I think everybody in the locker room understands the blessing that we have. Um, that's why they go out there and give everything they have um, on that field. Patriots defensive lineman Lawrence Guy joins Fitzy and Hart on a Patriots Monday here on WEEI. Obviously, Lawrence, immense familiarity between both teams yesterday, thanks to former Patriots offensive coordinator Josh McDaniels being the head coach now of the Raiders. Did they do anything differently yesterday than you may have anticipated? Did it did it did it feel like it, almost like we're back at practice again, or did they throw some new wrinkles at you? No, you know, he has his own system, and I think he was running it. Um, you can see how we ran our system here when he was here, and you can see the adjustments that he made when he's when he running his team. Um, but the good thing is you got to see familiar faces. Um, it's one of those family reunions. He's like, hey, how's it going? And you're like, hey, it's like you ever played uh, football in the backyard with your family. You, you understand that, that passion that flows out there, and I feel like that was that game. It was just so much passion out there, um, and, and there's just so much energy going. Um, and on top of that, you know, it it just brings everybody together. Understanding, like even though with that we 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 suffered this loss, we we get that. But you you can see it's still bringing people together. Understanding that we're all in here for one goal and one goal only, and that's to win the game. Lawrence, in terms of a defensive front and a run defense, you guys struggled a little bit early. I think Josh Jacobs had like seventy yards by halftime, and then it seemed like you were able to clean things up a little bit in that area, and that helped you in the comeback attempt that had the game tied late in the closing minutes. Was that cleaning up technique? You know, How were you guys able to play a little bit better in terms of the run defense in the second half? I agree with you. I think the first half of run defense was, 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 was not good at all. 
felt like we came out a little sluggish. You speak, just speak for myself. I like, felt like I came out a little sluggish. Um, um, and as as the game kept going on, you could see it improving. But then halftime, we came in there. I was like, hey, this is what we have to do. And we, we held him down. Um, he had a first half. It was like, okay, we gave him some big plays. We had to eliminate those. We understand. We made those adjustments. Then we come to the second half, he completely stopped the run. And like, this is what we should have done in the first half. So that was the disappointing aspect of it. Like, the first half should have been the second half altogether. But, you know, that happened. So, and, and the best thing you can do, like, did you make the adjustment? And we made the adjustment. And, and now you, you saw that. And that's just one part of the game of what can we do more? And I think we, when you look in the mirror and you look on the field look at, and we look at like a tape, you could see people like, what can we do more? And you could see if they were a little sluggish in the first half or first quarter, they kept picking it up, picking it up, picking it up. Um, and that's what you want to see. You just don't want to see, yeah, he ran for 70-something yards the first half. What if he would have done in the second half? It would have been a different story. You know, you saw everybody come in there, take their adjustments, and like, this is what needs to be done. Put your hand in the dirt. Let's go do it. Lawrence, obviously, long flight from three-quarters of the way across the country. Get back early Monday morning. Probably team's a little tired, emotional letdown in a game like that. But like you said, you got to turn the page. you got a Christmas Eve affair against the Bengals. Have you had a chance to break them down or start preparing for Cincinnati, who you are officially on to five days from now? Um, I think that's what, that's what we're doing today. We're going to turn the page. Um, and that's the best thing you have to do is turn the page, and we're going to go over the film today. Um, and, you know, the best, thing, the best thing about these long trips is when you get to come home and you get to see your family, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've been gone for for a while now, so you get to come home, see your family, enjoy it, and understand, like, hey, I got to go go back and we got to finish this out. And today's that, that turn the page of, hey, we're back home, we got our stuff, let's understand what, what, what occurred, move on, and start preparing for this big week that's ahead of us. Big week, but it's also Christmas week, and we've had enough doom, gloom, and disappointment regarding mm-hmm. last night's loss. Let's get into some holiday questions. What is Lawrence Guy's favorite holiday Christmas movie and or TV special? So we just had this conversation. Oh. Right? And and, <laughs> and I, I made this comment, and they got upset at me. I said, there's only one true Christmas movie. And, it was like, and they named off a whole bunch of them. I was like, yeah, but still. Like a Christmas story. To me, it's like the one true Christmas movie that you have to watch every Christmas, right? Yes, mm-hmm. yes. But then they throw, then they throw like Santa Claus on. I'm like, mm, that's good. Ah, uh, yeah. What about Elf? Then they throw, that's the next one. It was Elf. And I was like, yeah, you're right. Christmas, said, but, Christmas Vacation. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so Christmas Story. You can say Christmas Story, and everybody knows exactly what movie you're talking about because they all say the same line. You're going to shoot your eye out. <laughs> You'll shoot your eye out, kid. kid exactly. Abs- oh, fudge. See, that would see be a Christmas other. story to me is like, the, it, that's the goat. That's the one. That's the standard bearer. Like, none of the other Christmas movies, Lawrence, are played for 24 hours on a loop on Christmas Day. I know. Every, yeah. Like, every channel there is. What, what was that one channel that everybody CBS. is like, uh, CBS or Lifetime? A lifetime they're gonna play the heck out of that movie, and it's like, oh yeah, and I'm pretty sure everybody wanted it to be begun when they was a kid because of that movie. Yes, yeah. It TBS, pla- what TBS plays it where for- you grew up. <laughs> exactly. TBS plays it for 24 straight hours. Lifetime plays like Christmas shoes or we lost dad on Christmas or all those other sad ones. <laughs> dad died. Get happy. It's Christmas. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm going to be home for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And what's the top? Uh, like, I know you're big into games. You're a big pop culture guy. Like, you got to do a couple of things to unwind in between these big games. And obviously coming off of a big one, you got a huge one coming up on Christmas Eve. What sits atop Larry Guy's Christmas list this year? On my Christmas list or the games? The wish list. What's the top, what's the top of your wish list? Give me your t- the three things you want most for Christmas. Oh, man. Gee, you know what? My wife just asked me that question. I said, I don't know. Oh, oh, oh you know what? I do know. It, and I, I and I supposed to get this a long time ago. It's this arcade system. It's set up like the old school arcade system. Everything yep. looks the same exact way. But it has 1,500 games in it. Wow. And it's called the arcade guys that 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 do it. Um, and I, I follow them on Instagram, and they have a whole little setup of how they do it, and it's amazing. And you have a, like a, 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 a HD TV and all that into the into the um, arcade system. 
but it's same height, everything. It's just like you go into a local academy, you can play everything that you want. You wow. name it, they have it. And they gave you the database to increase it and add more games to it. That's, so that's been on my number one for like two years. That sounds awesome. But if your wife is asking you on Monday, the week of Christmas, I think that means she didn't get it for you. <laughs> Oh, she didn't give me that. No, she told me she was like, she was like, "I got you all this cool stuff." I said, "Cool." I said, "But this one, <laughs> I've been for two years. I've been saying the same thing for two years." She's like, "Did you get it?" I'm like, "Yeah, but I don't got nowhere to put it." And she's like, "Okay." <laughs> now, is it like so? Is it like a stand-up style one, or is it like the the sit-down ones, like that you would uh, go play like at a pizza parlor when you were picking up your orders? No, it's like you went to the arcade. System. Oh, nice. Arcade. It's oh. stand-up style. It's in the corner. But that's the thing. You have no other parent. Every year she tells me, hey, you should go get it. I'm like, every year I'm like, where am I going to put it? I'm going to randomly have an arcade system in the, in the um, living room. <laughs> so now you need a new house. Need a new house with a new basement. Right, man you cave. spend hundred grand. <laughs> you got to finish the basement or put a new man cave in. I mean, now we're getting really expensive just for an arcade system. You know? Um, yeah. Then, then other than that, it's just, like, my Christmas wishes are always always fulfilled when I see the joys of my kids, when, when I yeah. get them their gifts. So that, that's, that's pretty much it. Only thing I really don't want to do is, is um, make those Santa Claus cookies. Yeah, Th- those are no fun. You don't want to make I'll, cookies? I'll, What's wrong with cookies? Having to decorate that. It's a lot of decorating, Andy. It's a lot of, like, fine work them. and finessing. Yeah, but, but Santa Claus has to eat those cookies. Oh, that's true. Oh. That's true. you got to save them for Santa. That's, that's how right. he stays all yeah. plump. And then you got to pretend yeah. that you ate, you got to eat the carrots whoa, whoa, for the reindeer whoa, 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 and everything. Whoa. I know it's all whoa, 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 yeah, whoa, 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 easy, whoa. easy. What? Santa Claus has to eat the cookies. Yes, Santa Claus. Yes, and you got to put the carrots out for the reindeer. Yes, of course. exactly. Yeah. Jesus, yeah. what are we doing <laughs> here? Spoiler alert! <laughs> Can't take this guy anywhere. <laughs> I know. My God, what are we gonna do? I'm still rattled after the game last night, Andy. I can't help it. I apologize, <laughs> Lawrence. Listen, we really appreciate you joining us. Um, have a good week. I hope you feel well. Get right. Look forward to seeing you in action Christmas Eve against the Bengals. Hopefully a big win. You get to enjoy a couple weeks straight through New Year's when you got a big one against Miami. So uh, we'll talk to you next week. But uh, have a great week and a good one against the Bengals on Christmas Eve, pal. I appreciate it. You guys have a good one, too.